All of the reporting is that you are one of just a few House Republicans that are under consideration to join the president's defense team during the Senate trial. You met with White House counsel last week. Has there been any more meetings or progress on that since? Uh, we've all gone home to enjoy the Christmas holiday with our families, and everybody needed a break. We'll be heading back soon. Um, look, I, those the decisions on the defense team, the final decisions have been made yet. I would be honored to serve if asked to do that in that capacity. I really do believe in the president's case, and I've made that clear, so we'll mm -hmm. see what develops. Is it clear to you, um, I'm fascinated in kind of the process in the Senate, how it plays out. Is it clear to you if uh, what, any Republican uh, member of the House, what role they would play in the presentation of the president's defense alongside White House counsel Pat Cipollone in the Senate? Um, it hasn't been decided yet. There are a lot of things still up in the air. But um, look, I, I think it's a little bit uh, laughable, frankly, that some of our Democrat colleagues are bemoaning the lack of process or procedure when the reason we got to this point is because Adam Schiff and Jerry Nadler and the rest engineered a broken process in the House. That's why the president is so frustrated. It's why, frankly, he's very anxious to go to trial because he wants to put on his case, put on his evidence to prove his his innocence. I think at the end of the day, um, I, I think he is going to be acquitted, and I expect that it will be bipartisan. I think there will even be a couple of moderate Democrats or more who are compelled to vote in favor of that acquittal once they see how, how bare bones and, uh, and vapid, really, this case is that the, the House Democrats are advancing. Let, let me ask you, is you call it a broken process, because there has, yeah. is, of course, a debate that is still going on that all of this is moving either too fast or too slow, right? You're on the Judiciary Committee. You were part of the public hearings. Do you think that it was rushed? Yeah. It was rushed. Look, if, if you just look at the historical precedent, it moved 20 times faster than the Bill Clinton impeachment proceeding. And the, and the reason, remember, is because our Democrat colleagues, Nancy Pelosi and the rest, said they were just breathless in their sense of urgency. They said it had to be done. They said Donald Trump was an existential threat to the Constitution and our very way of life. And then once they got the vote in the House, they decided to stall and hold it for a while. So they've really lost credibility, I think, with, with the majority of the American well, people who see this as a flawed process. Remember, they committed to impeach Donald Trump the day he was elected to the to presidency. Not Ninety-five the House, House Democrats vote. Not, no, not but all. Ninety-five of them voted. That's not all, but 95, a big chunk voted to impeach Donald Trump before July of this year, which is when the Ukraine phone call with Zelensky took place. So, you know, th there really hasn't been a lot of objectivity on the House side, that's for sure. So I am hearing from you what I have heard from other um, other Republicans in their criticism. I asked Democratic Congressman Greg Meeks yesterday about this criticism, which is that if there is urgency, if there was urgency to move through the House because the president presents an ongoing threat when it looks when you're talking about interference in the 2020 election, then how do they defend slowing down the process in the Senate. And I want to play for you what he said. There's only one person that has been trying to obstruct this process. Only one. And that's the president of the United States. But the House moved ahead even with that in mind. With, with because the order it is the people. House's responsibility. You know, and I know this is not a actual trial. This is a process within our system and it's political in nature, but in an actual process, to, to break it down, to equate it, what we did was basically issue an indictment. Mm -hmm. And when you are indicting, you don't have to go through all of the rigorous procedures that you need to go through when you are in a trial or at a trial. We put forward and had enough facts from enough credible witnesses to indict. There was reasonable cause to indict this president for the two counts that he were impeached with. His point is that it's not a redo, it's not a broken process to call, uh, well, to call witnesses in the Senate, and it's not broken and they're not holding it up, because that's what happens at trial. What do you say to that? Right, and, and Greg Meeks is one of my, my close friends. I, I think he's a great guy. I disagree with him on this. Um, he's not on the House Judiciary Committee, and he wasn't present for a lot of that. The reason that they rushed the process, you know, uh, Congressman Meeks is talking about obstruction of Congress, but, but they brought an article of impeachment on that basis when all the Congress had to do was go to the legislative branch, I mean, to the judicial branch, the third branch of government, and ask a judge to compel discovery. If they thought that the president was not turning over documents or witnesses, that is the appropriate you, step. That's what's always been done in the past, but they said so, they didn't have time to do it. 
Now they've slowed the, it down. But on the witnesses, do you, do you, you, would you like to see witnesses testify in the Senate? Yeah, and that's a very important point, Kate. Here's, here's the thing. If we look at precedent and the procedure, what happened in 1999 in the Clinton impeachment trial is that both sides put on their cases. They, they, they call them opening statements, but that was the rules agreed to 100 to 0. They put on their cases. There, there were questions asked by the Senate, and then they decided which witnesses to put on. We have to cross that bridge when we come to it, and I think that's what Leader McConnell is, is suggesting should happen. I'm not sure why Schumer would oppose it since he voted for that in 1999.